Hello everyone, that's tuning into today's 10 to 14 day video update. So, we're going to have a look at the weather for the next 10 to 14 days. Uh, day 10 will take us to the 6th of September. And we'll be able to extend out beyond that with the Exenergy FS and ECM Ensembles. Maybe we'll to around a couple of weeks. So, we'll have a look at CFS B2 at the end of the video for the next four weeks. That gets us into the second half of September. I'll get on that for you in a moment. Just say there was a 6M forecast this morning. I took the day off yesterday. Why not? So uh, I had a long run up to work, doing a second job with uh, Watford Gap from Thursday to Bank Holiday Monday. Had quite a stressful day there on Bank Holiday Monday, which I won't go into. But uh, I was ready to have a, have a rest yesterday, so I just spent the day resting. And um, well, I hope that's all right with everyone. It's a good thing about being a self-employed. You can pick your hours, can't you? So uh, with that, we'll take the 14 day today. And there will be a 6 a.m. forecast and another 10 to 14 day tomorrow. Please like, share and subscribe on all of today's videos and content. Or both, well, today's video and content video. On today's video, please like and share on today's video. <laughs> Thank you so much, everyone, for doing that. Now, we're a bit behind, though, with uh, the photos. So, this is our August. Hello and congratulations to Gara Stringer. This is our August 2026 uh, photo. Thank you so much, Gara, for submitting this. Uh, lovely, uh, evocative picture photo of August. Hello and congratulations to Rob Chamberlain uh, for submitting this photo, which will be our September uh, 2026. Nice um, uh, misty morning there for heading into a warm September afternoon, probably. Thank you so much, Rob, for submitting that one. And hello and congratulations to Sandra, Sandra Sadler uh, for submitting this photo, which will be our October 2026 for the Gareth Webbies calendar. Well done to Gareth, Rob and Sandra for submitting uh, those photos. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Just got two more reveals to do for November and then December, and then I will give you all the detail of how you can uh, get the Gauss Rubbish 2026 calendar, what you got to do, how much it will be, etc., etc. So uh, that will be coming up in a couple of days' time. Thank you so much to everybody for submitting uh, your photos. That's absolutely amazing. Uh, and, uh, yeah, the, the, the calendar will be going on sale very, very shortly now. Thank you so much, everyone. Right, going to start off uh, with the latest with that from EarthNoSchool.net. Show that low pressure is breaking through. Been, uh, channeling this change for quite some time. High pressure collapsing. Low pressure moving in from off the Atlantic, more unsettled conditions are uh, on the way. September, uh, August, uh, central temperature, I should say, uh, currently sitting at 17.9, uh, 2.2 degrees above the 61 to 1990 average, and in provision to yesterday to the 26th of August. These were GFS, upper air temperature, precipitation ensemble, that couple of weeks on London today, the red line is the 30-year upper air temperature average for London. We're hovering quite close to uh, upper air temperature, uh, long term upper air temperature average at the moment. I'm going to stay that way for the next couple of weeks. There's no sign of any particularly uh, sustained warmer, perhaps a bit of a tick up around uh, the last day of the month associated with low pressure though, but generally hovering around or slightly below average as we move through the first 10 days or so of September. Looking rather mixed as well. Uh, plenty of precipitation spikes really from beginning to end. So a cooler and more unsettled spell looks like it's uh, on the way for the next week or two. Temperature lovely. It's the 1st of September, a little bit below average in the west, a little bit above average in the east. Precipitation anomaly to the 3rd of September uh, coming out, well, largely west of average, especially so for the south and west. OK, let's start going for chart days for them. It's our latest UK Met Euro run. It's looking a big night on Saturday. Low pressure heading in from off the Atlantic. Looking rather mixed, looking rather unsettled. Wet and windy as we head through the opening days of September. Quite a deep low out to the Atlantic. That's next Wednesday. About to throw up another band of wet and windy weather across the country. Icon, again, looking rather mixed. with low pressure heading in through the weekend. Wet, windy for Sunday. Then a little bit showery as we move on 
through uh, Monday and Tuesday. And we keep those unsettled conditions going to build next week with further low pressure downstream. The uh, KMA looks like that. Again, all rather mixed through the weekend and into next week. Well, that looks quite wet for the south of the southwest with that area uh, of low just there. However, that, wet, that clears out of the way and then higher pressure starts to build. So as we come to the end of the first week of September, a bit of a hint of some higher pressure out to the north and west. But still plenty of low pressure to our south and east. The GFS midnight run also looking rather unsettled, rather wet, windy, with those areas of low pressure keeping on coming. Uh, then a ridge starts to build as we get to about day 10. That's the 6th of September. So trying to settle down. But uh, not for long. More low pressure starts pushing up from south. That could bring some very wet weather actually that low into the south if it comes off. That looks like a major feature there for about 7th to the 9th of September. A dark ball bend setting up from that low pressure by the 10th of September. And, uh, well, by the time we get through to the 11th and the 12th, we we'll just keep low pressure coming and coming, really. I remember GFS 6Z, well, again, further low pressure coming in from off the Atlantic through next week. We'll keep the weather pretty unsettled. A nice build of high pressure, though, completely different with GFS 6Z by the, second of, uh, by the 7th of September, I should say. Plenty of high pressure in control for low pressure again coming back in from off the Atlantic. So that high doesn't stick around for very long. This does look like quite a mix first half to September, I have to say. Well, if you enjoyed the video, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much, everyone, for doing that. Make sure you drop a comment and let us know what you think about this sound, all of our videos and content. And don't forget to tell your friends about Gals and Weather Vids and get them to subscribe too. Thank you so much, everyone, for doing that. Thank you so much, everyone. Uh, right, GM, again, with low pressure in control and in the ascendancy through the weekend. Looking rather wet, windy, Ben. Into next week, the areas of low pressure keep on coming. Um, no, uh, GM is unsettled up to the 6th of September with plenty of low pressure in control. And then the ECM rounds it all off. Low pressure remains in control of the weather through uh, next week. And on up towards day 10, well, the low pressures keep coming. Up to or after day 10, a bit of a ridge of high pressure trying to build in from off the Atlantic. It was quite transient, I have to say. The next area of low looks about looks like it's about to start uh, moving in there by the 11th. This is a precipitation forecast based on the ECM run from Tibet.com. So a bad of rain moving across the country, country today. And then uh, plenty of showers and longer spells of rain. Uh, keeps on coming really through the end of the week and on into the weekend too. That looks really quite wet around the 3rd of September, middle of next week. Bit of a deluge coming up from the south. Uh, and further showery conditions then up to day 10. These are the options on the table within the ECM on Sunday Day for Day 10 from the Icelandic Met Office. It gets us to the 6th of September. 13 members of the ECM on Sunday with low pressure but all high pressure to the south. So looking rather showery and westerly. Nine with low pressure for the country. We've got another nine with low pressure to our south and east. We've got uh, eight with high pressure to the north and low pressure to the south. That could bring some wet conditions to the south, maybe. Uh, further eight with low pressure right over top of the country and then four with high pressure bridging through the country. Most of the options look unsettled at day 10. In two weeks' time, these are the options that we've got. It'll get us to the 11th of uh, September. 80 members of the East Ensemble still with some sort of a lower pressure heading in from the Atlantic. 12 with high pressure to the north, low pressure south. That bring the wind in from the east. We've got eight with high pressure to the east and low pressure out in the Atlantic, bring up the wind from a southerly, southeasterly direction. Seven low pressure right up top 
to G and 6 with high pressure bridging in for West. All options look unsettled at day 10. We may see some higher pressure uh, by day 14. Long way off there, of course. CFSB2 finally, piece of 500 mil bar high times break it down into weak periods. The first week period takes from the 27th of August, say to September. Low pressure is right over top. The country looks unsettled. Week 2 also looks unsettled. It's the 3rd to the 9th of September. Low pressure is in men uh, across the country. And then week 3 he will be the term 16th of September. Higher pressure is just out to our west. So it looks a little bit of a cooler. And more showery side band. And then uh, week four looks like that. 17th, 23rd of September. Low pressure of Scandavia. High pressure west southwest winds coming in from the northwest direction. Yeah, a little bit showery and slightly cool there. Uh, so a mixed bag. It looks like this September is likely to be a rather mixed month, I have to say, uh, based on those charts. Anyway, we'll see. Right, if you enjoyed the video, please like, share, subscribe. Thanks so much for everyone for doing that. Drop a comment, let us know what you think about this and all our videos and content. And don't forget to tell your friends about Gals Webbies and get them to subscribe too. And uh, thank you so much, everyone, for doing that. That's awesome. Thank you so much, everyone. Tomorrow, we're going to have a 6 m UK weather forecast and there'll be a 10 to 14 day as well. So keep checking back the channel for more for this one. So for now, and thanks for watching.